Hello and welcome to your 30-minute vinyasa flow. My name is Andrea and this is Sun Salutation Spotlight. We'll begin in our Samastiti pose, standing tall with our palms at our heart center. Grounding through the feet, you may set your intention here. Inhale, reach your palms high, Urdhva Hastasana, Mountain Pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms. And step to your downward facing dog. Palms grounded, hips high. Inhale, your right heel high. Exhale, step your right foot through for low lunge. Your back knee drops to your mat. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, reach your palms to the sky. Exhale, palms through heart center. Step your left foot forward to meet your right and inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, your palms reach high, gaze up. Exhale, palms through your heart center. Inhale, once more, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step your right foot back, back knee down, runner's lunge. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, reach your palms high. Exhale, palms through center to the mat. High plank pose, inhale, exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, press into your palms and reach your heart. Exhale, return mind's eye to the mat and shift up and back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, your left heel high. Exhale, step your left foot between your palms, runners lunge, back knee to the earth. Pause here. And then inhale, reach your palms up to the sky. Exhale, release your palms to the mat and step your right foot to meet your left at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach your palms. Exhale, prayer at heart center, palms to your center. Inhale, reach high, draw the energy up. Exhale, flat back, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, extend your crown. Exhale, release and step the left foot back, low lunge. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, reach your palms high. Gaze up if it's okay with your neck. Exhale, your palms return to the earth. Step your right foot back, high to low plank, lower to the earth. Inhale, reach your heart, baby cobra, maybe pressing a little higher this time. Exhale, release and go back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, your right heel to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward. This time the back knee stays lifted, runner's lunge. Hover the left knee towards the mat and then exhale, straighten both legs for your pyramid pose. Inhale, runner's lunge, heart lifts, back knee hovers. Exhale, straighten both legs as you draw your torso towards your right leg. Inhale, reach your heart. Exhale, fold and lengthen. Inhale, standing splits, lift your left heel towards the sky as you drop the crown of the head towards the earth. Reach your left heel a little higher and then exhale, land high crescent. Inhale, reach your palms to the sky. Breathe here, reaching through your palms, expanding your heart. One more inhale. Exhale, open arms, warrior two, adjust your stance. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And back to warrior two. Inhale, goddess pose. Deep bend in the knees, sway left and right. Your palms can be at your heart center if this is very intense on your shoulders. 
maybe palms out to the sides or up overhead. Moving into warrior two towards the back of your mat, left knee bends. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Stay for one more inhale. And then exhale, side angle pose, left elbow towards your left knee or left palm inside left ankle or left foot. Right fingertips reach over your ear. And then exhale, sweep your right palm to the earth as you extend your palms forward at a diagonal. Think, think about it as warrior two legs and downward facing dog in the upper body. Breathe well here. Begin to shift the hips up and back as you press into the four corners of each palm. Very strong posture, breathing into it. Inhale, draw the palms underneath the chest and walk them towards the front of the mat as you extend your left leg and bend your right knee for Skandasana Pose. I am lowered down pretty deep here, but if you keep the hips slightly lifted, that's perfectly fine as well. You might plant the right palm and lift the left palm up to the sky for a stretch, or remain the palms at heart center. Then inhale, shift the hips over to the left knee bent, extending your right leg. Skandasana at the back of the mat, plant the left palm and reach the right palm high as you open your heart towards the sky. Release your palms back to heart center and to the earth. Go ahead and walk your palms forward. We're going for an easy twist. Left palm plant, right palm reaches as you open your heart towards your right bent knee. Inhale and exhale, extend the left bicep over the ear, extended easy twist. Preparing for low horizon lunge, sweep your left fingertips behind you as you hover your right hip towards the earth. We're on the knife edge of both feet. Inhale, high horizon, lift your hips. Exhale, low horizon, drop your hips. Inhale, high horizon. Exhale, low horizon. One more, inhale, high horizon. Two runners lunge. All 10 toes forward, step your right foot back and exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, your back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale, your left heel high. Exhale, step your left foot between your palms, runner's lunge. Inhale, the heart high. Exhale, extend both of your legs and draw the crown of the head towards your shin. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Preparing for our standing splits, walk the palms forward and lift your right heel towards the sky as you draw the crown of the head towards your right chin, kicking through your right leg. One more kick, inhale. Exhale, land your right toes to the back of the mat and inhale, reach your palms high, high crescent. Exhale, open, warrior two, adjust your stance. Inhale, left fingertips forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, star to goddess. 
heels in and toes out as you bend your knees deeply and sit your hips down closer to the earth. might sway left and right. You might bring your palms to heart center and soften the eyes as you breathe here. And then exhale, warrior two, towards the back of the mat. Your right knee is bent. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach your right palm up and back. Inhale, warrior two, to exhale, side angle, right elbow to right knee, left palm reaches up and over, extended side angle pose. One more inhale here, and exhale, sweep your left palm to the earth as you find that down dog shape in the arms, and your warrior two legs remain the same. Pressing your hips up and back behind you. So strong in the legs. So powerful in the arms. Breathe here. your palms underneath the shoulders as you find your skandasana pose bending your left knee deeply your right leg extends maybe palms to heart center maybe left palm plants as your right palm reaches and you open your heart inhale here and exhale sweep your left palm to meet your right and we'll walk our palms over to the back of the mat. Right knee bends and your left knee extends as you bring your palm to heart center. Maybe going for that extension, planting your right palm, lifting your left palm as you open your left shoulder back behind you. bring your palms to touch at your heart center and walk them forward to the front of the mat prepping for easy twists right palm plants left palm lifts inhale and exhale extended easy twist draw the left arm over the left ear preparing for low horizon to high horizon all ten toes to the left as you hover your right hip to the earth Inhale, high horizon, lift the hips and draw the left fingertips forward. Exhale, low horizon. Inhale, high horizon. Last time, exhale, low horizon. In horizon, back to your runner's lunge, facing forward and step your left foot back to high plank. Exhale, lower, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Continue to breathe here for a few more cycles of breath. float forward like a wave into your high plank pose top of a push-up you can always modify by dropping your knees as you lower all the way to the earth drawing the palms down by your sides with the preparing for locust pose exhale all the air inhale locust lift your toes off the mat your shoulders off the mat reach your palms back drawing your shoulder blades closer to each other and down your back. Breathe. 
breathe one more inhale and exhale release to the mat right cheek on the earth You can stick with the same back bend for our next variation, or you can reach the palms overhead for superhuman. Exhale to prepare. Inhale, reach up, kicking through your toes, lifting the thighs off the mat, reaching the heart off the mat, reaching the fingertips long, keeping your gaze down to protect your neck. One more inhale to reach a little higher, kick a little further, lengthen, and exhale, left cheek on the mat. Relax your palms by your sides. Preparing for your third and final backbend of the series, bend your knees, reach your palms to the inside or outside of your feet, draw your forehead back onto the earth, exhale, and on your next inhale, kick into your feet to reach your heart, Dhanurasana, floor bow, pressing your pelvis into the mat, kicking into the feet a little higher to reach the thighs off the mat. One more big inhale, focus your attention, and on your next exhale, release, opposite cheek to the mat, palms down by your sides, release your feet. Maybe bend your knees and windshield wiper your heels left and right to release your low back. Stack your palms underneath your forehead for belly down Shavasana, resting your forehead on the backs of your palms. Resting here, feeling your belly press into the earth, feeling the nourishment of the earth beneath you as you draw all your energy and attention into the body, into this physical sensation, and then to this practice. Smoothing out the breath, feeling your heart beat. Breathe. Begin to draw the palms by your sides and your shoulders and press directly up to plank or hands and knees and exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your palms all the way back to your toes, forward fold at the back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, two fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach your palms high. Exhale, draw your palms to your heart center. Pause and feel. Preparing for our first balancing posture, we're going to find tree pose. So you can bring the left foot as your base and your right foot comes up anywhere on the inseam of the left leg. It can be a kickstand at the ankle, at the shin, or up to the inner groin. Also an option to take the half lotus version of this posture, drawing the knife edge of the right foot to the inner hip crease of the left leg. Palms can rest at your heart center or you can extend your branches reaching your fingertips to the sky. Maybe gaze up at your palms for extra balance challenge. You could draw your right palm to your right thigh as you reach your left arm up and over creating a side body stretch in your left side body. Inhale, reach your right palm to meet your left. And exhale, your left palm comes down to your left side body as you extend the right side body, opening the hip, opening the torso. Inhale, back to center, your palms reach high. Maybe you gaze up and exhale, reach your palms to heart center. Step your right foot to meet the left, shake the hips out, give them a wiggle. And then inhale, chair pose. Draw your hips back and reach your palms forward. Fold so deeply that you can rest your belly on your thighs. Reach your palms forward, inhale. Exhale, sweep the palms by your side for chair plane. Inhale, chair pose. 
Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plane. Lift the heels to hover. And pause here. Balancing on the toes. Keeping the heels lifted. Inhale, reach into your chair and exhale. Drop the heels forward, fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet hips width distance, preparing for Padangustasana. Take your peace fingers to your big toe mounds, grab for the toes, and fold your body forward as you reach the elbows in opposite directions. The deeper you bend the elbows, the closer your forehead will get to your shin. And if this is really intense, you can always bend the knees to protect the low back. Breathe here. Release your grip. Halfway lift, draw your spine long. Exhale to refold. Inhale, return to Urdhva Hastasana. Palms reaching to the sky. Exhale, draw your palms to heart center. Anjali Mudra. Taking the tree pose on the opposite side. This time your right leg is your base and your left foot can be placed anywhere on the inseam of the right leg. At the ankle, the calf, the upper thigh, or again, option to take that half lotus tree shape drawing the knife edge of the left foot up into the hip crease of the right leg. Palms to heart center or reach your palms high, extending your branches, swaying through your chest to test your balance. Option to add the side body stretch by drawing your left palm to the left thigh and reaching your right palm up and over, maybe gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, your left palm meets your right and your right palm drops down by your side as you reach your left fingertips over to the right. Inhale, back to center. Your right palm meets your left. Gaze up, testing your balance maybe and exhale your palms to heart center release your feet inhale chair pose sit your hips back draw your palms high exhale chair plane draw your palms down by your side and lift your heels to hover inhale chair pose exhale chair plane see if you can keep the heels lifted Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plane. Stay here and pause. Breathing in your chair plane. Heels lifted, heels lifted. One more inhale, chair. Exhale, release the heels and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift the spine long. Exhale, gorilla pose. Lift the sole of the foot and draw your palm underneath the entire sole of your foot. Again, drawing the elbows away from each other as you reach your crown of the head down to the earth. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and breathe in this spinal whole back body extension. your palms releasing one foot and then the other to plant your palms on the mat inhale halfway lift exhale to fold begin to walk your palms forward towards your high plank pose top of a push-up and exhale to lower all the way to the earth tops of the feet on the mat inhale baby cobra reach your heart high 
Exhale, release your mind's eye to the mat and press up to hands and knees. Relax back into your child's pose, sinking your hips back towards your heels as you extend your palms out long in front of you. Continuing to breathe here for just another round of breath. Begin to come up to your tabletop pose and find downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right heel high. Exhale, pigeon pose. Bring your right knee towards your right wrist. Reach your heart to the sky. You may stay here or exhale, lower yourself to the earth. We'll be here for about 10 breaths, so settle in to your posture. Can be nice to bring your forehead to a block or a prop if you need to bring the earth closer to you for support. Or you can also bring a block behind the right sit bone to elevate the hips. to draw your palms back under your shoulders tuck your left toes and liberate your right foot up and back scorpion dog bending your right knee opening your right hip downward facing dog inhale your left heel to the sky and exhale pigeon pose side two your left knee comes towards your left wrist. You might stay lifted with the heart, strengthening the spine, or you can begin to descend your torso towards your left leg, any amount. Options for props here are a prop underneath the forehead, elbows to the earth or a prop underneath your sit bones. Continue to breathe here. Noticing if your mind has begun to wander and drift off into thoughts of the future or ruminations of the past. Gently bringing your attention and your awareness back into the sensation of the body. Noticing what you feel. Noticing your breath and breathing here. Begin to walk your palms underneath your shoulders and tuck your right toes as you lift your left foot up and back, scorpion dog, open your right hip, pressing firmly into both palms equally. One more inhale here. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and step your left foot to the mat, finding your downward facing dog. Come forward into your high plank pose and lower all the way down to your belly, preparing for Sphinx pose, drawing your elbows 
underneath your shoulders as you make a number 11 with your forearms, tops of your feet on the mat as you draw your chest forward through the gate of your arms, relax the shoulders down the back, and then begin to bring your palms underneath your forehead for belly down Shavasana. I'm going to rest for the rest of my practice here in belly down Shavasana. If you find this to be uncomfortable, you can always flip over to find a regular Shavasana on your back. Allow yourself this time in Shavasana, your final resting pose. Allow this space for your practice to integrate into your body before moving on with the rest of your day. I invite you to stay here as long as you like. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice and joining me on Sun Salutation Spotlight. I wish you blessings and the rest of your day. Please be well.